here from LS1 Tech. Um, I am just gonna do the drill mod. First up, you're gonna need a seven millimeter socket and a Phillips screwdriver. Screws, one up here, one up here. Two seven millimeter bolts. Uh, one here and one right here. falls down you gotta disconnect this it's the uh, trunk release button there go here I have to take out two 13 millimeter bolts one right here and then you can see the other one up here that's the master cylinder right there there's also this plastic, big plastic piece here. It's held on by two little plastic rivets. Pull that down and out. Kind of remember how it sits in there because it's a little bit of a pain to put back up if you you forgot like where it lays in there. There it is. Now, if you follow your master cylinder right here, follow that rod all the way up here to right here. You see this little metal clip? We're gonna take that metal clip off. If you get up close to it, you'll see how, how it snaps off. We're gonna take that metal clip off and detach the master cylinder rod right here from the clutch pedal. See, it's connected. Be careful because it's kind of difficult to get it off sometimes. One time I was pushing really hard on it and it popped off and just disappeared. And I had no idea where it went. I didn't know if it went behind the carpet. I like ripped apart all my interior and it was like stuck up here in some wires that I couldn't see. So keep that in mind. When you removed the uh, two 13 millimeter nuts that are holding a master cylinder to the firewall, if you haven't taken it off before, there was probably star washers on there. Um, you can just cut them off with pliers and you don't need them to install back on. You just throw them away. Just jacking up the car right now so we can get under there and disconnect the master cylinder line from the transmission. I like to chalk the tires and uh, make sure it's in gear and your e-brakes on. All right. Get the bone. My new creeper, which is awesome. Thanks, Dad. First, we're going to remove the heat shield, which is this whole metal plate right here. Two seven millimeter uh, bolts. So, we're going to take those out. All right, got those out. And plate slid out. Up there where that <clears throat> tube is going into the transmission and you can see the white that is the quick disconnect that is going into the transmission what you're supposed to do which I can't film and do at the same time so I'm just going to explain it is you're going to take two screwdrivers and push that white piece in towards the transmission and the quick disconnect is supposed to to pop off and push. See how that see how it moved? Now you want to get a screwdriver on the other side. Push at the same time and you're gonna push that in and this line will pop off. That took a little longer than expected, <laughs> but it worked. Oop. Just had to keep fiddling with it for a long time and it finally popped out. We're going to remove this is the master cylinder reservoir. We're gonna pop this um, little rivet off. Get this thing off here. Alright, just pop that off with the screwdriver comes off and now it's just floating there. Try to remember like where that tube goes kinda. Down there. Okay. Alright. Now we're gonna take master cylinder out. It's down here. Um, it's under the brake booster. And now that it's loose you can feel for it down there if you look. Um, if you feel. And, uh, just grab it and you just kinda wiggle it and you can pull it out. There's a U-bolt. Um, holding it to the firewall that you undid the 13, the two 13 millimeter nuts from. 
So, took it out. Um, I took it out from under the car this time. It just seemed easier. Last time I pulled it out from the top, but I've been sitting here for probably 20 minutes trying to get it out of there, and it's just like hung up on the steering knuckle, the brake booster. I just couldn't get it out from the top, so I just pushed it through the bottom and it worked. So, right here is where the braided brake line comes and connects to the master cylinder. There's this little punch right here that you have to punch out, this little pin. You just, um, what I do is just take one of my smallest, or not one of my smallest, but one of my bits, put it right here, and then take a hammer and just, it comes out really easy. That's it. Right there. Breed a brake line should come off. And there we have steel braided brake line. We're gonna drill right into there. So I have my eighth inch drill bit. We're gonna drill right into the mouth of that. And you're gonna want to hold this part with vice grips and put like a piece of rubber maybe a little piece of garden hose or a towel if anything just to keep from damaging this with the vice grips when you hold it and make sure this lines pretty straight and drill straight you know you don't want to go in there at an angle and, and start you know drilling through the line so uh, I got about an inch and a half in there almost until it finally cleared kept going and then it broke through a wall back there. You should be able to go all the way in infinitely if, uh, if you did the restriction all the way. I thought I was done and I got confused and there was actually more in there to do. All right, um, next we're gonna flush some fluid through here to get any shavings that are in here out of the system. So to put some fluid in there to get the shavings out, take one of my drill bits and right here you can push that in when you push that in it lets fluid go through so I use the drill bit push that in use one finger Oop. use one finger to hold it down like that take your brake fluid pour it in there slowly and it'll go out and drain through the bottom so we're pretty we're done with that. Um, drilled it out, bled the fluid through it to get the shavings out. And now basically we're gonna do everything in reverse order to uh, install everything back. Um, if you're installing a new master cylinder, you need to transfer over this part over to the new one. Um, you need to transfer over a little O-ring that's inside of there if your new one didn't come with it. It's going to need it in there or else you're going to leak. Uh, transfer everything over and just reinstall. Tapping the... Tapping it back in. Make sure it's on right. It's good. I jammed it back through the top. It's down there now. You can see like where the foily tubing is connecting to it. I've jammed it in down in there. You know, I got this in place already and connected. It's fine. Now what it's going to be is a game. Last time I did this, it took so long. You just got to go down there and try to put the U U bolt like through the holes down there. If you're by yourself, you can come down under the car. Oh, it's so dark, but um, see where the U-bolt is at and if it's coming through the hole it's it's a lot easier if you have a second person to, to look down here and keep an eye on it while you push it through so I'm gonna get started okay holy crap guys <laughs> I just I just did it in like 30 seconds I just stuffed it down there and they just happened to pop through so I'm going to grab a vice grips and like just from under here grab onto them while they're barely sticking through the holes and pull those things toward me and get nuts on them. So that was really lucky. 
so got got them on, screwing them on. Then I'll use my 13 millimeter, tighten them up good. So to um, connect the quick disconnect back to the transmission under there, first you have to crack the bleeder valve, or else it won't go on. And I've actually drilled a hole in my floor pan. up here pull it back and uh, see I drilled a hole right there uh, it's covered with duct tape right now just take the duct tape off and I can just bleed it by myself without even having my car in the air so I'm gonna go through that hole crack the valve if you don't have this hole do it from under the car and then you can push the quick disconnect back on and then we're gonna get bleeding okay. just got down here hooked up the the line popped right in, and now um, we're gonna get bleeding. And uh, remember to put this the heat shield on. So I'm just putting that on right now. So I'm gonna bleed the system. Take the reservoir cap off. 